So you're ready to start a video marketing campaign and now it's time to hire someone who can help you shoot those videos. But that person needs to be responsible, they need to be professional, they need to be talented, and they're just about impossible to find. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to go about hiring a videographer and an editor for your campaign. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the video spot. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Video Spot blog where we train, teach, and motivate brands to be effective with their video marketing campaigns. My name is Owen, the president and point man of Video Spot, a video marketing agency in San Diego, California. Today is Video Marketing Monday, so we are gonna be talking about the problem of hiring a videographer. And here's the problem, is that you've done enough on your own with your video marketing campaign. You know, you've used your iPhone, your Android, and now it's time to really step it up a notch and get a better looking product on the marketplace. So what you do is this, you go to Craigslist and you look for a videographer and in the end, they don't show up on time or maybe they're a real hassle to deal with. They can be like a real know-it-all, like I know what I'm doing. I once entered a 48 hour film contest. Hiring and working with artists is a very challenging thing to do because they typically they're not business minded people. They don't understand all the time necessarily the need to go out and get customers and to uh, provide a, a product that adds value to somebody. In this video I'm going to go over a few tips to make sure that you're hiring somebody who is going to be with you in the long term so you're not in this process of hiring somebody and it's a nightmare. Your video sucks and you got to start over. So you hire someone and the video sucks and, and maybe the video isn't even bad. Maybe it's just that the experience was bad so you don't want to work with that person again. So let's go over some of those tips right now. The first thing is is that you want to put together sort of like a list of everything you want or expect from that person. And what that does is that creates sort of like this objective standard that allows you to hire for the role. So if you've got a job where you need a video done, you want to hire somebody for that entire role, for the role of being your videographer. I'm looking for someone to shoot with a DSLR camera. I'm looking for somebody that can do really cool white background effect or a black background effect or knows how to work with green screen. Somebody that can give you direction and lighting. Once you've kind of created that list, go ahead and put together your ad and focus on what you're looking for, not what you're not looking for. Try to keep it optimistic and upbeat and say, hey, I'm looking for someone that can work with a growing company. I'm looking for a videographer that values deadlines and someone that, that really knows how to be a professional, not just a videographer. The more specific you can get with what you want done, the easier easier it's going to be to find somebody who fits your mold and your expectations and give you the product that you want, not the product that you're stuck with in the end because you paid for it. The next thing is be ready to invest some serious time in vetting those people that have responded to your ad. So once you have this ad constructed that really uh, exemplifies what you want, you're going to get phone calls or emails. Get on the phone with these people as quickly as you can and find out what their personality is like and if there's even a fit there. I would even recommend doing that before you look at their reels. You know, if you're working with somebody that personality-wise there's no click, it doesn't matter how good their video is, it's going to be a horrible experience. And video should be one of the most fun things that you do in your content marketing strategy. So really spend time interviewing on the phone these people and going over the personality of you and your company so that they understand who you are. Third thing is to build vision for the scope of what it is that you're you're going to be doing. You know, videographers just like you, you run a business or you run a marketing department, you want customers all the time. You want projects going all the time. And so with a videographer, they want consistent work. So build that vision that hey, we're going to get started on one or two videos, or we're going to get started hiring you for the day, but we would really like to be hiring you once a week for you know, long periods of time, building that vision for them so that they know that this is something that could potentially turn into a really great position for them where they're now working for a consistent client. So the next thing is if you can, Hire more than one at a time. Hire two, maybe three videographers at a time. And I know that you're looking like a huge budget, but if you hire somebody for a couple hours and you bring in two, two of them, then they're kind of competing against each other and you're sure to get their best work. The last thing I'll say on this is before you hire them, require something out of the ordinary from them. Most videographers are used to responding to an ad and getting hired. What I would challenge you to do and I would suggest for you to do is actually to require something a little bit different from them like a paragraph on why they want the job. Require that they read through a non-compete agreement. Something that 
requires them to do something out of the ordinary because here's what will happen is half those people will drop right off and they'll they'll you know oh this is I'm not used to this I don't like this this is different and they'll go I will leave you with this as I wrap up try to avoid Craigslist on Craigslist you're gonna find a, a you know a, just a anybody just anybody can post an ad on Craigslist I would spend your time looking more at the college campuses going um, to uh, there's a website called Mandy where you might be able to find somebody go to Yelp uh, look up videographers in your area and you can also try Elance maybe even Odesk but using these sites requires more work from the videographer and it shows you that they're a little bit more professional in the end if you're trying to get the rock bottom price as I did for the first two years of my company you're gonna get you know cheap is expensive it's gonna cost you a lot more in money time stress and then having a bad video product that now you have to go with to meet a deadline so hopefully this video helped you in deciding how to hire a videographer and how to move forward with a video marketing program if you like the content that you see today and it's your first time here I would ask you to subscribe to our channel we come at you every Monday Wednesday and Friday with new information on video marketing online marketing and of course tools tips and software that might be able to help you run your business more effectively so subscribe to my channel and uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions otherwise we'll See you soon.